Built for the Tacoma owners looking to do it all, the Best Stop Super Top for Truck 2 is the most versatile top you can buy for your Tacoma. Made with a heavy duty black diamond fabric that is mildew resistant and UV protected, which will not only look great but also keep your gear and cargo protected from the elements for years to come. The top can be folded down on the fly to have full access to the bed if you are looking to haul taller and oversized loads. And a built-in storage system secures all panels and tailgate bar while the top is down. And due to the lightweight design, this topper can be removed from the truck within minutes and stored away. The side panels and rear DOT approved tinted window can be easily removed or rolled up for a safari style configuration. Super top for truck 2s come with an optional third brake light along with a vehicle specific wiring harness. If you are looking for the most versatile truck bed cover which will last for years to come and that will not break the bank, the best stop super top for truck 2 is the solution for you. Now this topper is coming in at $929 with free shipping and as always the best time to buy your aftermarket truck and car parts and accessories is now as prices are consistently going up. Now this topper is also available for both the 5 foot and the 6 foot models on the 3rd gen Tacomas. As always we're going to talk about what we like about this topper and what we don't, starting with all of our pros. At the top of the list is the fact that this guy came in one large box. It's not too heavy, so this will get shipped to your house directly. And you can assemble it in your garage. Now, because of the design of this topper also, another huge plus is the weight. This is going to be one of the lightest you know, toppers that you can put on your third gen Tacomas. Due to this lightweight design, the topper can be pulled off the truck within two minutes with one person, and you can store it in the corner of your garage with a really small footprint. Also, because of the design, you are able to pull these windows off of the topper to pretty much customize it however you want, depending on what you're doing with the truck. And if you are going to be running a larger load, like a tall load or a bike or you know an ATV back here, you are able to completely fold the topper to the front without removing it off the truck. And that also takes you know, less than one minute. So if you are looking to add more utility to the back of your third gen Tacoma, bang for the buck in my opinion this was going to be one of your best options especially with all the different configurations you can do on this guy and the fact that it's so easily removable while the super top 2 is amazing it is not perfect and let's talk about some of the cons now one of the largest negatives with the super top 2 unlike your fiberglass or metal shells which are lockable this will not be as secure however it will keep your gear out of sight, out of mind, which in most cases is half the battle. Due to the lightweight design of the Super Top 2, you will not be able to run a rooftop tent on here or any additional weight that is not recommended. However, there are options out there to where you can get a bed rack which will work with the Super Top 2. Essentially, it will just come out and it will be kind of like a shell around the Super Top 2. So that is an option for you guys that are looking to run you know, rooftop tents on these guys. And then finally, this isn't going to be completely watertight, as most of you guys with your third gen Tacomas know. Generally, on your little tailgates right here and the corners, the tailgates will leak, even with the OEM bed covers and other you know, camper shells and bed covers. This can be remedied by you know, sealing this off, but from a OEM and factory configuration, you might have some you know, water leaking in through here. It's not that big of a deal. 99% of your gear will stay dry with this bad boy right here. And that's it for our pros and cons. For the installation, you want to give yourself about an hour and a half to two hours to get this guy installed with some basic hand tools. To make your life a lot easier, I would recommend pulling the canvas out before you guys install it. Put it on the sun for a couple hours before installation just to you know, let it stretch a little bit more. If you are doing this you know, during winter time, throw it in your garage or in your living room, let it warm up overnight, and then throw it on. Like I said, it'll make your install a lot easier, but it is not required. I actually was able to just install it straight out of the box without any problems. So with that being said, let's get into the install. Pull all the components out of the box and referencing the included parts list to verify that all required parts are included before starting the install. I like to lay everything out in the installation orientation before getting started. First we will assemble the side rails by sliding the rails together and securing them using the provided set screws. Make sure to reference the install instructions for part numbers for left and right rails to ensure proper assembly. Up next, pull off the white backing paper from the foam on the rails and lay the rails on top of the truck bed plastic bed protector, starting with the front and the rear and then the sides. Next, attach the side rails to the front and rear. Simply slide the side rail assemblies in, ensure that the ends of the front and rear rail extrusions are aligned with the tongue of the attachment feature where the tongue bends and small corner protrudes. Go through and center the full rail assembly with the bed width. And now we can install the upper and lower clamp assembly starting at the front. We will start by removing the end caps from the track system and next we will slide and provide track bolts into the deck rail. Make sure that the track bolt is oriented so that the threaded hole is on top. 
the trackball should be located 6 inches from the end of the front side rail, so we will measure it out and move the top clamp to center the 6 inches as a reference point. Up next we will attach this lower clamp to the deck rail system. I will start by taking this inch and a half long bolt and sliding it through the lower clamp right here. This can be a tight fit so I just need to finagle it in there. Then up next we will throw on this half inch spacer and we will hand tighten this lower clamp to the deck rail system to the little track block. Up next I'll go through and do the same on the opposite side by tightening down the lower clamp. We'll go through and measure and make sure that we are 6 inches from the front of the rail and then we'll go through and tighten the lower clamps down. Align the upper clamp to the lower clamp and using the provided hex bolt, tighten down the clamps together. Up next, complete the same steps on the opposite side of the truck. One thing to know is that the lower clamp may need to be shifted and moved a little bit forward or rearward to make the installation of the upper clamp easier, like I'm doing here. Next, we will repeat the exact same process on the rear. The only difference is that we will need to center the clamps at 11.5 inches from the rear of the side rails. And also, the top clamp will not be pre-installed into the rail, which is not a problem, as we will just need to pop it in. And finally, we'll just go through, tighten the rear clamps down, and we are all good here. Up next, we will assemble the bows using the provided bow couplers. The long couplers will go into the outer bows, or the front and rear, and the shoulder couplers will go into the inner bows. For easier installation, slide all bows and couplers together before snapping the spring clips into the holes. Also, before attaching the couplers, make sure to pull the bond coat straps out and away from the bows. Up next, using two people, we will place the folded bow assembly onto the side rails. Make sure that the pivot swing arm braces are on the lowest bow. And pop the pivot bearings onto the receiving holes on the inside of the side rails. Next up, go through and unfold the bow assembly. And then we'll go through and pull back on the pivot knuckle release knob and snap the pivot arm brace into place on both sides of the truck. And then finally we'll move the bow system up and we will drop down the lever and lock it into place right here on the provided knob. Now we are ready to throw the canvas onto the bow system. Up next I'm going to put the soft topper into place by draping it over the bow system with the clear window facing forward. Up next we will slide the sleeve at the bottom of the window into the front rail. If you are having issues sliding the sleeve in, you can pull the rail off by pushing it forward, which will make this install a lot easier. Next, we will tuck the plastic tabs at the bottom of each corner of the top into the slots on the front and side rails. There will be three tabs total on each corner. Go ahead and repeat this process on the opposite side, and then we'll move on to the rear. Next, from the inside of the truck bed, we will attach the topper to the bows using the Velcro straps on the middle two bows, and we will be utilizing the snap locks on the outer two. Up next, tuck the plastic tabs at the bottom of the curtains and corners into the rails at the back of the topper. This will be the same process as the front. And keep in mind that doing this install at 72 degrees or higher or letting the topper stand in the sun for about 15 minutes prior to the install will make this process a lot easier. Finally, we are done. At this point, you can go through and zip up your side panels and install the rear window using the zipper and the Velcro. In states which require a third brake light, we do have the option of installing the provided third brake light here. For this install, we will start by feeding the wiring harness through the slit at the top of the fabric. Now, if this is being stubborn, we can use a utility knife to make the slit a little bit wider, about one inch wide. Then we will slide this guy all the way through. Next up, we will slide the wiring harness through the inner side of the fabric, also through the slit, like so. Up next, we will use the provided hardware to secure the light to the topper. We will start by securing the screws to the light, then we will push the screws through the fabric. One thing to know is that you will need to pierce the fabric for the screws to go through, then attach the provided washer and nut, and then we will go through and tighten these guys down. Up next, we will feed the wiring harness through the sleeve at the top of the fabric. If this is being stubborn, you can use a coat hanger to help out. However, we were able to do it by hand very easily. Once through the top, we will do the exact same thing on the side right here and just pull it all the way through and make it nice and tight. 
Next, connect the light harness to the provided harness extension. Then we are going to feed this below this plastic piece, which will drop the harness down behind the bedside. Next, remove the taillight and feed the wiring harness through the same location as the OEM wiring harness. Once we pull the wiring harness through, we are going to cut it down to our desired length. Now we will tap into the driver's side taillight with the provided wiring taps. We will start by unplugging the center light bulb. From the best stop wiring harness, the black wire will tap into the white black wire on the OEM harness and the red-black will connect to the solid blue wire on the OEM harness. Once the harness is tapped, test all your lights, make sure everything works, then reinstall your taillight, and you are all done with this install. And there we have it for the install. Super simple. If you guys are in the market for one of these best stop super top twos, we'll drop you a link down in the description. Also, if you guys do want to see more reviews and installs, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and drop us a like below, and until next time, have a great day. We'll see you.